with what Defense Department officials call a heavy air component, meaning lots of airplanes flying overhead. The parade scheduled for November 11th, Veterans Day, and it's supposed to run yeah. from the White House a little over two miles to the Capitol. In Washington, Joel Nato, Fox News. Here. As lawyers for and against Bill Cosby prepare for his second sexual misconduct trial, one of Cosby's former co-stars is speaking out. Lisa Bonet says Bill Cosby gave off a sinister energy, telling Metaporter magazine that she's not a comedian is facing sexual assault allegations. Bonet said she wasn't aware of any inappropriate behavior while working on the Cosby eight, eight, show. Eight, eight, two, and a different five, world. Five. She did send eight, eight, a darkness saying there was just energy. And that type of sinister shadow energy cannot be concealed. Bonet was reportedly booted on the Cosby show after an explicit sex scene in the film Angel Heart hard. and left a different world after she became pregnant. Cosby's being retried in April on charges he drugged and sexually assaulted a woman in 2004. Michelle Polino, Fox News. Across the country, many of us will miss something in order to gain something. It's a toss-up. Hour overnight, but the sun's up earlier tomorrow morning. As we spring ahead one hour, Benjamin Franklin first thought up the idea in 1784. It wasn't instituted until World War I, when it first went into effect to save energy. That's Fox's Jeff Manasso. Standard time returns on November 4th. Can't do so. Fox News. So, hey, we'll go one minute notice. Just do a one. <laughs> Are you thinking of buying or selling your home? Downsizing? Upsizing? Investing? Are you relocating? Do you want to know your local market conditions? Are you behind on payments? Okay. Are you looking for improvement tips? Well, what if your home didn't sell? This is Real Estate with Ryan, your hometown expert and trusted source for the most up-to-date information. And now your host, Ryan Coleman with Hometown Realty. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well on a Saturday morning, and thank you for tuning in to Real Estate with Ryan. If you followed us last week, I apologize. We were not live in the studio, so if you've experienced the Interstate 40 and all the construction that they're doing, uh, we were not able to make it in, believe it or not. So I don't know if you experienced the frustration that we did last week, but uh, we were early today. Rise or shine. No construction on the highway today. Uh, I'm your host, Ryan Coleman, Hometown Realty, along with my lovely co-host, April Coleman. Good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. We got a great topic here for you today. Uh, got a little housekeeping issues that we're going to run down, some news updates in the Knoxville real estate market, and then we'll get right into our show. Okay, perfect. I just want to um, go over some of our new listings like we do um, every week. We have a new listing on Deer Valley Way um, in the Carnes area. Um, Dogwood Circle was actually one of our new listings that hit the market and then went right under contract. So it's now pending. We have Fredericksburg Boulevard. It's a lot in West Knoxville. Um, Brushy Valley is one that's coming soon. Kendall Road is a lot that's coming soon. Gibbs Ferry Road, it's coming soon. And so is Summit Lake Court. Waters View Drive in Loudoun, we have a house and then several lots that'll be hitting the market. Stay tuned for that. And um, Andalusian Way out in the Polo Club from Gettys View. Just a beautiful condo there. Oh yeah, that one's that one's real real beautiful. So those are some of our listings that um, have hit the market. We'll be hitting the market. Harbor Point Lake is one out in Kingston, and then Beat Street. So we have a lot of activity going on here for the spring market. I think what you're seeing, guys, it's uh, it's that time. Spring will be here in a couple weeks. Um, we got the daylight saving hours. The time's go is it going back, April. You spring forward. Spring forward. You lose a little sleep to get some more sunshine. I feel like I'm losing this week. It's gone by so quickly. But the market is upon us, guys. The real estate market is in full peak in the next couple of months. If you guys are looking for a home mm -hmm. or thinking about purchasing, uh, the inventory is going to be increased. So there'll be a lot more selections out there. And so keep that in mind. Um, this is the time where the properties look the best and obviously at its peak performance. It really shows well. So um, we've got a great show for you today. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to relate to getting your house on the market this spring and also um, understand exactly what will improve your home's value. 31 home improvement tips that will double your home's value. That's great. So that's the topic of the show today. And um, 
the first one we'll talk about is, a, a, you know, first let me start here. Uh, most importantly, guys, if you are in the car, we are live in the studio, and if you have any real estate questions that are non-related or anything at all that we can answer, we're here for you. It's 888-TALK. That's 865-888-TALK. That's 888-8255, and the talk lines are open, so any questions you've got, we'll try to answer those live on the air. But going into our show, 31 improvement tips that will double your home's value. Mm -hmm. First one, additional bathroom. Yes. Now, that, that's a good topic, and I wonder why that, 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 that was first on the list. So, you know in a house, <laughs> if you're short on a bathroom, uh, that's the first thing that's more functionality <laughs> than, yeah. than just having one bath. So, we found that adding another full bath or a half bath to your property mm -hmm. will actually really increase not only the sellability of the property, but functionality and probably end up netting a higher price so uh, one of the things that you want to keep in mind if you've got that bonus room or that loft or sometimes you've got some space that could easily convert a larger closet um, that's in the hall that could easily be a half bath uh, really makes a good selling point and, and really ups your value so for example if you spend five thousand on, on a bathroom it may yield you ten thousand or seventy five hundred so it's a wise investment something to look forward to right Perfect. What's next on the list? And spruce up your bathroom. So if your bathrooms are outdated, just try to spruce those up a little bit. Um, some of these things you would think that will be very costly may not be. I mean, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's, they have some great deals on some vanities and you can get some um, combination vanities out there that you could put in, tile work, um, anything like that. Just spruce up your bathroom if it's outdated, make it look a little bit better. Yeah, you know, your kitchens and your baths, that's the, that's the money factor. So if you guys are looking to put your home on the market, focus on those areas first. They're gonna yield the highest return. Mm -hmm. we, we know the ladies are obviously focused on those areas and very, very important that uh, that's who we're targeting and make sure that it's an updated if we can. You know, right. Not every house uh, has an updated kitchen or bath, but if you're doing these renovations, where to spend the money to get the most bang for your dollar, and obviously kitchens and baths are at the top of the list. Yes, they are. Now, depending on your price range, so um, it doesn't have to be granite. Um, it can be a nice uh, vinyl or a... Uh, uh, laminate top, I mean, right. you know, or some Corian. They have some really nice Corian uh, products out there. Mm -hmm. so, so it doesn't do have to be fancy. No, it doesn't have to be fancy, but clean, functional, and updated. You know, you could take white appliances, go to a black, or you can go uh, stainless steel. They've got a lot of great deals out there. Mm -hmm. They really make it, uh, really spruces up the kitchen. Right. Changing that hardware, you would think that uh, that's a minor deal. But for a couple of bucks, really gives it a mm -hmm. different different appeal. It so, does, and um, remember to try to stay in those neutral colors because some people like to go wild with their taste and their sure. colors. But if you're sprucing it up to sell your home, then just remember try to stay in those neutral colors. So we're thinking to the masses. Away. We're thinking, you know, think of how the builders do it, new constructions, and how they keep their properties. It's neutral. It's the the beiges. Now mm -hmm. it's the grays. Um, but but keep that in mind. It's neutral. You want to open to the masses. And again, every buyer is going to put their specific touch and their their taste on the property mm -hmm. um, but we want to make it as wide ranging and appealing as possible exactly. so um, with you on that april um, listen talk number 865-888-TALK 865-888-TALK you got any questions keep us up to date um, bathroom tile that's next on the list mm -hmm. so whether you're doing that backsplash whether you're doing the backsplash in the vanities um, for the bathrooms really a big update with the flooring yeah it really gives it that extra pop and they're saying that that definitely will increase your value and give you some more uh, added resale as well yep. now we'll get into flooring uh, believe it or not mm -hmm. now some some of the older homes that we have are beautiful um, so they may have some carpet underneath um, Maybe it's a shag carpet, or maybe it's right. just older. They have original. Really look at those um, at, if you have the original hardwoods. Uh, we just did, we have a remodel that's coming up on customers of ours, and you wouldn't am amazing, just the amazing floors that are underneath. Mm -hmm. They refinished them, and really just a beautiful look. You couldn't buy that in the store. Mm -hmm. And so really look at that your floor and it bringing out that natural wood, the original mm -hmm. theme of the home, and, and, and kind of bringing those floors to life. 
hardwood floors are our top selling factor. Exactly. And so uh, it may cost a little money to refinish them, but the wow factor and the resale, that's where you definitely will double your money. Right, exactly. Um, I think our next one is add some flair to your home. Um, so I think right now, kind of trendy designs, um, mid-century modern, retro. Um, some people don't like all of that, but if you just, um, instead of the cheap, you know, Home Depot brand of lighting, they're saying just kind of maybe add some, some flair and some lighting in there that um, will bring out the home. There's so many new different themes and the designers have come out with so many different uh taste out there. I mean, uh, California, West Coast, they've got so many different things going on that you're seeing some of that incorporated in this area. Mm -hmm. So you kind of got to spice it up a little bit and right. uh, add a little character to it. And um, um, that's so important. Listen, we're coming up on the other side of the break here, and we've got a lot of topics, and I'll run down those some of those items that you're going to talk about and stay with us on the other side of the break. So we've got to talk about the shower, the bathrooms. Can't forget your media rooms. Those are huge. Outdoor kitchens. Uh, we're talking about maybe going green, uh, keeping that efficient, mm -hmm. and uh, not only energy efficient, but smart home, how technology has really changed, how everything in the millennials want it now and on demand. Hey, you're listening to Real Estate with Ryan every Saturday, 11 o'clock, and we'll be here right after the break, and we'll pick up those topics coming here soon. Hey, it's Marshall Stewart, Operations Manager here at the radio station for King Pure Water. Yeah. If you're spending... We're pretty much drinking right out of a swimming pool because we had so much chlorine in our water. Ken designed a system, including a dechlorinating system, that got rid of all the impurities from our water. Now, we're Hey guys, thank you guys for staying with us on Facebook. Hope you're enjoying the show, 31 Improvement Tips, that will double your value. It's really hard to explain on the radio, but it's true. That will double your value and add more value to what you think about putting your home on the market in the spring market. So we want to have a good show on that, talking about how you can make improvements. If you're going to do some investments on your property, where to get the most bang for your dollar. Thank you guys for listening to Real Estate with Ryan. Hope you guys are having a great weekend, and thank you for staying with us. This on Facebook and no appreciate you. It's a King Pure Water deal. Ken King guarantees it. Glenn Beck, weekdays 10 to noon. We know millions of people have come here illegally through the southern border. Every day we get reports about criminals who have been deported 10 times. In Israel, they put up a wall. What happened? Violence went down. Not just went down, almost non existent. Terrorists were infiltrating into Israel. They were killing Israeli citizens at a horrifying rate. Israel built the wall and that stopped. And you're telling me we should have a wall on the southern border? Talk Radio 92.3 and AM 760. Knox Cleaning Company is a family owned and operated business. Always has been, always will be. Knox Cleaning Company specializes in every variety of cleaning residential, commercial, industrial sites, exterior, or interior. Owner Angela Smitty takes pride in forming relationships with her company's clients, built on trust, and her company's 100% satisfaction guarantee. Give Knox Cleaning Company a call today and see what a difference it can make for you. 865 256 5875. That's 865 256 5875. You can also find out more by visiting KnoxCleaningCompany.com. Radio Rewound with Alan Diskin. Saturday afternoons at 4 and Sunday nights at 6. Taking you back to the glory days of radio. With Rich Little. Oh, Cary Grant. Oh, my gosh. There's nobody better than Cary Grant. This is a superb actor and charming man. I went up to him and I said, Oh, my God, it's Cary Grant. I can't believe it. <laughs> but if you are Cary Grant, let me hear you do your Cary Grant. Saturday afternoons at 4 and Sunday nights at 6 on Talk Radio 92.3 and AM 760. You make my life better. Bet, let, let's make life better. Adding a new member to your family is an important part of your life. And Petland of Knoxville is just the place to find that new special family member. From dogs to cats, birds to fish, and even ferrets and hamsters, Petland has it all. They also have a huge supply of pet foods, care products, toys, and more. Petland. Visit Petland in Knoxville today. Kingston Pike near Cedar Bluff in the Home Depot Shopping Center. Chris Shower. 2828. 
Hey, thank you guys for staying with us for Real Estate with Ryan. We're back after the break, and we were talking about 31 tips that will double your value, kind of double your money, kind of like Vegas. Mm -hmm. Double up, baby. Uh, hey, if you guys are tuning in to us, this is Real Estate with Ryan. We've got a real estate show, only show in town that will give you the up-to-date information on the real estate market, Knoxville and surrounding counties. I am your host, Ryan Coleman, owner of Hometown Realty, along with my lovely co-host, April Coleman. And we try to bring this to you every week live right here on the only station that you can trust, Talk Radio 92.3 FM, AM 760. And of course, the lines are always open, 865-888-TALK. And of course, if you ever want to reach us at the office, it's 693-SOLD. That's 693-SOLD. Always going to tell you it's the best number in real estate. So thank you for staying with us. Um, now, let's get back on topic. That's right. Sprucing up the shower. So <laughs> if you're sprucing up the shower, that's big. Now, um, so depends on your price range, depends on your target, and we can help you with all those things. So we're going over a lot of topics, and we can specifically walk you through the process. Call us for a consultation. There's no cost, no obligation. But walk through the property and understand exactly what it takes to get your home sold. Give you tips on what to do and what not to do. So we've got 31 topics here. Not all of them may apply, and we'll be glad to help you. Mm -hmm. um, just call us again at the office or uh, visit us online, and we'll be glad to come out and talk to you. That's right. But when we talk about the shower, I know that's big. You're seeing that new construction is, is a big competi competing factor in, in the market now, and you're seeing them jazz up the shower with the tile showers mm -hmm. and the backsplash and the open glass doors, and that really makes a good presentation and really is what the buyers are looking for. Right. Now, you don't have to do this in every bathroom. Um, probably just focus on the master bathroom to make it more of an oasis um, because I think that's one thing that attracts most buyers is that master bathroom what it looks like and what it brings and what it offers so it's nice to keep all of your update your bathrooms updated but you know if you don't have money to update everything sure. just focus on that master well the women want the retreat right april i mean they want that spa-like feel uh they want to kind of have their own place when they're getting ready for work mm -hmm. and they can get get the day going they can kind of have that one-on-one -on -one time just kind of get ready without the kids and everything the hustle bustle and kind of retreat and um so that's that's where the value is that's where the resale value is mm -hmm. but different price ranges have different updates so right. keep that in mind and just just depending on who your target buyer is will help with those updates but even if you're not going tile or going there, just updating the vanity. We have a lot of the older properties that have the cast iron tubs. Mm -hmm. You'd be amazed that they can keep those tubs and resurface them mm -hmm. with a, like a ceiling or a, a color scheme, and they come out beautiful. Yeah. So things like that, changing the shower curtain with some um, tile rods and just you know uh, putting a little fresh linens out, mm -hmm. um, changing the bath mats, minor things, believe it or not, makes a big difference when we're selling and those little things like you said could make a big difference right exactly and um, and then moving on i know we've got so many topics we'll have to fly through on but um your entertainment room now guys you know we love the entertainment room just give us a big tv give us our man cave mm -hmm. and and we're in heaven so guys this is for you if it's on sunday or saturday we're watching the vols play or we're on sunday watching a little nfl the media room is the is the deal is the deal that's right. it that's where the money's at so um, if you've got a basement or if you've got a third or fourth bedroom that you can convert that's fairly large mm -hmm. whether it's a loft uh, a room that's unfinished that you can add a media room is a big seller mm -hmm. buyers are looking for that now if you've got the theater system and surround sound one we just listed they've got a media room downtown you know with the surround sound and so if they're getting on there doing the games or the kids are doing that or watching little movies a uh, movie night with the family mm -hmm. big seller exactly. big return uh, it doesn't have to be the high-end equipment remember the equipment's not going to go with the property more than likely maybe leave the screen but it's the setup it's the wiring mm -hmm. that really makes a difference that the buyer can come in and customize and put their own feel on it exactly um, a couple more is your outdoor kitchen and um, how you kind of make your outdoor space go green people everybody's into green now and um, if you update update it to a smart home that's in now everybody likes to be smart so the smart home don't uh, you know the Millennials are looking at those now mm -hmm. the smart home they you know <laughs> might be like just me maybe I'm part of Millennial. <laughs> but they um, they want everything now right and we all want it now everything on demand and and so 
with these smart homes, they have the technology that syncs to their phone. They can cut the light shades down. They can cut mm -hmm. the TV. I mean, it's really cool. I'm not that technical savvy, but people are looking for that now. Right. And they can control everything from their phone when they leave. You know, everybody's busy and on the go. So don't overlook that. And if you think about getting into that uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, or some techni technical companies that are really good out there, mm -hmm. look into that. That's money well spent because technology, you don't see a lot of homes around here that have it. Right. And with that technology, the millennials are definitely looking for it, and it will be a wise investment that and you're going to make. No, it's definitely a wild factor. Yeah, we got that. Um, of course, replace the roof if it's old, um, and then spruce up your curb appeal and paint your front door. Now, front door, April, we just did a project at one of our renovations, and I have to say that uh, she she nailed it on that one. Now, she did, ladies, she did like a aqua, you know, she's an HGTV or... Uh, it literally it, said HGTV. Right, right. I think she's kind of <laughs> copying those guys, so <laughs> you got to give them credit on that. But listen... Um, we did a, just kind of a brown rustic colors and she did with a totally different door mm -hmm. and it was was it aqua kind of uh -huh, an aqua look blue color and, and i wasn't sure about it but i said hey you've got the exterior you do it i'll trust your judgment uh -huh. and uh buyers really loved it yeah, so you'll be fun. amazed guys if you're putting your home on the door i know it's no, normally the shutters and the door match and all that step out there and look at some of the new colors and schemes mm -hmm. and it really gives it a pop yep. and, and, uh, and Pinterest is a good way to go to get some ideas yeah there's a lot of good ideas out there and you can kind of just kind of I call it um, who knows what I call it it's one of those days but <laughs> but I call it uh, creativity I mean right. get your creative uh, mind going and mm -hmm. look at these other ideas and, and it really will help you do that right. uh, next topic motorized window shades that's the end of this now and we don't have those in our home, I have to, admit, I have to admit, we don't have those, but that is, you see a lot of that in the West Coast, uh, where the sun is just really gleaming. Uh, down Florida as well, they have those. Um, we did have one in condo that we sold mm -hmm. on Bokashi, they had those. Yeah. And a uh, really, really nice touch, uh, good value there. Um, not necessary on every home, but it is something to look at. Right, exactly. We talked about your kitchen countertops. Um, kind of update your, your color palette throughout your home. So if you have wild, crazy colors that you love, um, just remember neutral colors are the way to go to because um, not every buyer is going to like your color scheme now you're seeing that April so. I, what to piggyback on what mm -hmm. you were saying there is uh, a lot of the builders you know they've had that old boring tan they call it bone white or just tan right, neutral right. color right? right well you're seeing a lot of builders now switch to the gray yeah the gray's neutral now. grays mm -hmm. we did a renovation and it was uh, the grays the grays are very popular now they're in they're light um and airy and yep. airy it gives a great feel that kind of goes with everything so look at that um especially with some white trim or some off-white trim right. some crown molding really makes it pop exactly yeah we did actually have a customer that they had wild crazy colors in their house that they loved the house wasn't selling, they repainted it, and literally it sold. So um, I think sometimes it just kind of takes the buyers back a little bit. But, sure. Um, let's see, we've got feature walls. So maybe you can make some of your walls um, kind of unique. Um, designer driveway, not everybody needs a designer driveway, but if you put those, um, you know, like the brick driveway down, the... So your stamp concrete or... Stamp anything. Yeah, I mean, those make a huge difference. I love Remember, them. Yeah, I mean, now you're spending some cash now. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to spend some cash, so uh, keep in mind, these are these are a lot of topics, not all of them fit in, right. but if you go to the stamp concrete, I mean, everything's curb appeal, guys, and so when you pull up to that home and it's got that, that wow factor, that mm -hmm. it factor, I mean... Because I feel like personally when I drive up to a home and I see a driveway, you know, that has that um, unique look, I'm just like, ooh, wow, that makes it look fancy. Um, cover terrace, hot value, mudroom, and um, finish that basement. And if you have an attic space that you can finish, finish that up, make that an extra space, garage makeup, um, expand the existing space. We fly through it, but we try to cover it. We were able to cover all that 31 topics while we were on the air. Um, guys, again, I appreciate you staying with us. We are live every weekend in the studios, 11 o'clock a.m., Real Estate with Ryan. I'm your host, Ryan Coleman, owner of Hometown Realty, along with my lovely co-host, April Coleman. And you can listen to us every Saturday again, 92.3 FM. 
AM760, the only station you can trust. And uh, if you need us at the office, it's 693 Sold. That's 693 Sold. Visit me at ryancoleman.org. If you guys are following us on social media and Facebook, you can like us there. Please share our page, like our page. We put a lot of time and effort in every week. And uh, you guys have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. Hey guys, thank you for staying with us on Facebook. Hope you enjoyed the show. Again, sorry for last week if you followed us on Facebook. It was crazy. Construction, wild, everywhere. And we could not get here. First time ever. I've never been on the studio. And uh, needless to say, I was a little aggravated. But um, I promised you we'd be here on time. We were way early today. Uh, probably helped we didn't have construction out there, so that was a good thing. So if you guys were out last Saturday, you understand what I, I was going through. Me and April here, appreciate you being with us every Saturday. We're going to bring you the up-to-date information on real estate, whether you're buying, selling, thinking about um, putting your home on the market. Uh, the market's moving pretty quickly, and we're here to help you. Um, obviously, any questions, you call us. We're there. We went over a topic that was pretty good today, 31 improvement tips to get the most bang for your dollar. So if you've got your tax refunds back and uh, don't know where to spend that money, we'll be glad to help you. We're going to put this on the line as well on RyanColeman.org. We'll get it on our blog spot, and so you can reference this to kind of go back and talk more about that. And um, we're seeing a real big pickup in land. So we know land sales have been down for the last couple years, and uh, we're seeing a lot of movement. We've got waterfront lots. Uh, we've got building lots. We've got building lots in West Knoxville. Uh, Teleco is very, very hot. Um, Severeville's picking up. We've sold a lot out there. Sold first day cash. So a lot of things are moving and a lot of opportunity. Now, buyers, I understand if you're currently a seller now. We just listed a property and they got a little discouraged about the inventory that's on the market and where to go. Rest assured, it's all going to come. It comes in waves. And with the weather, everybody's waiting until, uh, I'd say 30-40% of the inventory is going to be coming here up soon. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is get with us, see exactly what your home is worth. Let's look at the values. Let's project going forward the first part of the year and see what your home is worth. Then let's talk about, get with April and I, talk about how we can help you find that home, get you up-to-date information. As soon as it sells or one comes on the market, you're going to know about it first because we're going to keep you up to date. And then we can put that deal. We can get a one close move over there with Carla and Genesis title. Again, appreciate you guys staying with us. You got anything, April, you think of? I don't think so. A lot of topics that we cover. Follow us every week here Saturday live, 11 o'clock on Facebook, talk radio, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Appreciate you guys. Thanks. I mean, we just talking a lot about this topic, but... All right, well, I'll see y'all later. Yeah. This is the first time doing it. It was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was all right. I mean, we just, this, we, we just had this topic, so we went over and it was just... Um, Oh. Should I ramp through? I mean, <laughs> you get so much content you're coming up with. It's just right. kind of, but uh, yeah, I appreciate everything. All right, team. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool, man. Nice. Thank you for doing it. I'll lock it up. Thank you. Right. Okay. Yeah. You want me to cut lights out or anything? Let me just get the lights out here. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, what do we got next? Let's get this camera.